Hello. I'm Cherie. I'm Lloyd with the Next Adventure. And today we're going to be going over the Big Agnes Lone Ranger. And Roxy Ann. And we're going to show you how we set up our sleeping system. And on very cold nights or nights we want to get snuggled together, um, we call it the Mega Bag. So let's, we both store them in our Hyperlite large um, pods. I had a blowout last year before the AT, and we just taped it with tenacious tape, and it's held up just fine. It's doing great, and yeah, I did kind of overstuff it. And what I'll be using is the um, sleeping bag. I have a climate sleeping pad. I have a hyperlight um, pillow, which is a also a stuff sack. A Nemo blow up pillow for between my knees. I have a Sea to Summit bag liner, and I'll be using my lighting equipment if it's um, while I'm sleeping in my Hyperlite pod. Right, and I have a Climate Ultralight uh, sleeping pad, a Sea to Summit pillow. This one will be for my head um, because here's my Hyperlite um, pillow, but I actually used it to stuff stuff in it that I'm going to actually use for my pillow which is my two puffies and whatever extra gear I'm not gonna be wearing immediately, like my gloves and my extra pair of socks. And honestly, this is the large. I would have been fine with the small and keeping it just this size. Um, so I guess we're gonna switch them and turn them into pillows now. And you want to keep the nice, soft uh, felt side on the inside while you're going um, day to day so that you don't get the outside dirty and stinkier than what you would in bed. All right. All right, here's my sleeping bag. Pull that out. Let it loft up. Oh boy. I have my sleeping um, pad. It takes about, actually, it should take about 10 breaths. And we'll test it out. I don't know about mine. He's been blowing mine up for me because I had bronchitis. This is my first time. Really? Ah. I took nine breaths. It's blowing up. Turn to the right. And what we do is slip it in. Get your little sleeve in the back. Flip it upside down. How many? That was 16 for me. You have got way better lungs than me. I vote you blow mine up. Nope. <laughs> Alright, once the pad is on the bottom of the sleeping bag, and I have a left side zip, Cherie's got a right side zip. We do the bottom first. Pillows. Oh yes, pillows. Since it takes me longer to blow these suckers up. <laughs> That's crazy. 
crazy. Well, I got lipstick on that sucker, whatever. Let me stuff some extra things in here because I just don't have enough fluff because it's more pillow than I needed. Two breaths for my knee mo. This is my knee pad for between my knees. It was four breaths or more for mine, but I just don't have the lungs you have. This is, this is the one for between my knees and legs because I'm pri primarily a back sleeper. The Cedar Summit sleeping bag liners, they say it should add about 15 degrees of warmth to the already um, 15 degree bags. Oh yes, that must go. The pillow must go within your liner. Hold on. There. All right. Is it the bag's up? Where'd my pillow go? There. And it's perfect for me turning on my side and put my pillow between my knees so I can snuggle right up on him and get nice and toasty and warm. There we go. And then when it's time to sleep, because snuggle time is snuggle time, sleep time is sleep time, there is more than enough room for me to lay on my back and him to lay on his back. And However, I absolutely love this. And then if we get warm in the middle of the night, we can mostly unzip the bottom so that knees can be exposed and chest and shoulders can still be toasty and warm. This is the Big Agnes Mega Bag. Love it. Oh, one more time. Let's snuggle this back. We'll see you on the trail. See you on the trail. Nothing to see here. Go away. <laughs> okay. And... Giant mega bag. Turn it around with both our sleeping pads and honestly. By having that separation in the two, it gives room for a shoulder to fit down in there. And it fits beautifully within the triplex along with all of our other gear. Every bit of our gear can come into the triplex if we want it. 